Mr. Rob Mendoza up here are headed to the lease right now. We're, we're down here in southern Mississippi-ish, southern-ish Mississippi. Uh, we're going to, to hunt on some land. Uh, this is gonna be a tethered group hunt, if you will. There's some guys that are gonna be here tomorrow um, that, uh, that are gonna be joining us for the hunt. But we are fixing to get in there and just try the place out first for them. Make sure everything's kosher and uh, yeah. So I am super excited. It's 76 degrees and feels pretty good. Feels like a killing a deer kind of day. So see y'all in the stand. So we're gonna come, we're gonna come all the way over here. Both y'all are gonna be over here. For ridge tip next to this creek so you can get some airflow. Out. I'm sitting here. We're on this ridge tip right here. Mm -hmm. So I'm in the back. The winds do the feeders on the I know I outweigh this fool mm -hmm. by like 50 pounds. So you either want to, but supposedly we're south, south, or west. The winds do it. So side somebody, up. somebody, somebody if you can hang mm -hmm. on the whoever's going to hunt the three bucks, you want to hang if you can. All right, hey, listen, Rob, don't shoot the two year old, okay? Don't shoot the two-year-old. I know you really want to right now. <laughs> I'm not scared to, but I, I'm not, I don't want to. <laughs> All right, well, you fixing to go to your spot. Hey, luck, we'll see you, buddy. Good luck. Good luck. Hey, big shout out to Robert Mendoza at Tethered um, for, getting, for forgetting a little clip. Uh, and telling me that I could bring, I didn't have to bring my camera arm or my base or anything like that. He's got it covered. Um, and then I have to get out of here and film on a cell phone because uh, he forgot his clip somewhere. So now I can't use my actual camera that I paid good money for. Uh, appreciate you, Rob. No, he actually offered to climb in the tree with me and film me. And I'm like, heck no, dude. No big deal at all. We're all going hunting. And, uh, if I can get it on GoPro or, you know, this little, this little fancy, I don't know if y'all can see that very well, but, but that little thing right there, he's letting me use that. So if I get it on that, we're good, right? Well, first evening was cool. Uh, there at the last, I'd say, hour, hour and a half, it cooled off to probably, you know, 10, 15 degrees cooler. I need to see where I am. Oh, there we go. Uh, 10 to 15 degrees cooler than what it was when we started. And I had a hog move in on me right there at the last bit. Um, but it's gonna be 45 degrees in the morning. I'm gonna be right back in that same tree uh, same feeder, same spot, and hopefully, because there was three, those three bucks were in that spot this morning between 6.45 and like 8 o'clock, so I am, uh, I'm going to be in there tomorrow morning, and hopefully, they'll be in there too, so we'll see you then. I want to show every one of y'all something. Trey, I used to give you such a hard time about being slow, but no more, buddy no more i'm sorry because this is what i've been having to deal with all freaking trip look at this look at this he's got his nice little crispy zone here you know and just, just everything just right it takes a lot of effort to look this good oh ooh. i gotta poop man i really gotta poop <laughs> I could kill anything.
After those bucks came through, that was pretty much it for my morning. I saw nothing else. So I decided to get down. We went back to the staging area with the guys, shot the bows, made sure everything was on. And we went back out that evening. That evening, I didn't see anything. But I liked the tree that I was in, and I knew that I was going to be back there in the morning because it was going to be 48 degrees, and I felt like I had a good shot at a buck. And, yeah, that's pretty much what happens. It's a terrible wind, but it's cool. Let's get it. It's not great. But I just shot a freaking buck. That's not great. I hit that deer low. But I think it's going to be lethal. I think it's going to be lethal. deer just came in like I was sitting down looking at my phone because all this stuff is so thick you can hear really well I, I didn't hear anything I mean I'm like when I was when I was hunting the other day I, I could hear hogs around me and stuff that were 60 yards off you know I, I, I'm guessing they were 60 but I knew they wasn't right on me I'm like, I'm just sitting there looking at my phone. You know, my wind is blowing right where that deer just come from. I'm going to have to give him a little while. Because that deer, I shot, I shot him kind of low and in the guts. But I think it may have, by the way he was quartering to me, or quartering away from me, it may be okay. I know he's going to die, though. <laughs> we can find him, too. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably need to let this deer lay at least two hours before we go in there. So that's going to put us around um, 9.30ish. But we may even wait longer than that. I'm going to see what these guys want to do because I don't want to ruin their morning hunt. But uh, we got a freaking buck on the ground. I know it. I can feel it, baby. Golly, let's go. Rob just texted in the group, said for me to come pick him up. He's blow his wind's blowing that spot out, so I think he's ready to get on and track a deer. <laughs> so I'm gonna get down and go get the truck, go pick him up. And me and him may come back in here and uh and just walk right there on the edge of the woods and see if we can see him or see if we can find any any decent blood. May sit there and watch footage, I don't know. But we're going to get down now. I did a YouTube video, the last one that I uploaded. Well, actually, no, second to last one I uploaded. I did the one stick climbing method video. And I told y'all that, you know, sometimes you have to go over limbs. And the reason I, you know, the way you can rappel down and still pull uh, the rope through uh, without it getting caught or when it gets caught, I'm above limbs. I'm going to show you. Uh, exactly what I'm talking about. 
you're gonna pull that rope all the way through because you got limbs that you're you're going above like you know say that one right there and you're gonna get hung got to take that off first i'm gonna detach it from our bow as i told you on the video i used my bow rope for this so got it off now let's see what we can do get a decent look here Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand and a cell phone. See there, it's hung on that limb right there, but it's just gonna pull out of that. Like I said, forgive me, I'm doing this with one hand. All right, you get the idea. Let's see if we can't find this arrow. I thought I saw it. There it is. Ooh, yeah, we got some, some goods. Some good old goods. Yikes. Ugh. Yeah. I knew it was, I knew it was good. That's part of it. Sometimes you make a bad shot. But hey, gotta love Mississippi public. I just saw where Rob sent in the group about 10 minutes ago. Trent, I'm gonna hang in this tree for a bit. My wind started dropping, I'll update you in a bit. So I'm about 500 yards from him, the way the crow flies through the woods. I'm just gonna sit tight right here. I'm gonna call Bree, FaceTime her. There she is. Hey. Arlen, come here. Did you have it? Uh-uh. Oh. No, I gut shot it, so we're gonna wait a while. Hey, guess what Daddy did? You know what Daddy did? Daddy shot a big buck. Oh, what do you think about that, son? <laughs> Look at that little Spider-Man helmet. <laughs> hey, Daddy, Daddy shot a big buck. It was an eight point. Why did you laugh? You want to see Rob? Rob's hunting, boy. That son of a gun. <laughs> I want to see Rob. <laughs> hey, Daddy. Huh? Rob is hunting in the woods. Rob is. Oh, well, Daddy's actually in Rob's truck. Yeah. Daddy's in Rob's truck. We're going to wait and go see if we can't track that deer here in a few hours. Yes, that boy. He's just watching himself. <laughs> <laughs> you little son of a gun. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, y'all, we are back at the staging area here. We got everybody back. Freaking Juan over here. He made a 40 yard shot on a dead gum 120 pound nanny and uh, sent her to an early grave. We're going to eat some, some good grub right here. That Mr. Todd himself has fixed up. It's currently continuing to fix up. And it's right now, it's 11.09. So I shot that buck at 7.20, 7.21. Um, and uh, so it's nearly been four hours. But what we're going to do is we're going to eat and leave here, go back to the camp, get uh, a laptop. That way we can blow the footage up and look at the shot just a little bit better. Um, give that deer just a little bit more time and probably go in after it. I'm going to say probably around one and that way it'll have six hours to, you know, if it was just a through and through gut shot, you know, we're giving it plenty of time. Um, and hopefully he's, 
he's dead 100 yards from where I shot him. So, see you on a little bit. Trent, you gonna do a spill? Yeah, so we made it back to the shot site and right there I was, I was climbed up. You see that middle tree right there in the back that's got the vines coming off of it? About 30 yards from us right now? Mm -hmm. That's the one I was in. Um, and he come out right here he was right there probably 40 yards from me when i saw him and i, sh I shot him right here so when he left he ran over this he bounded a couple of times and then right there behind that dead pine tree with all that those vines on it he went right and went down that's the last place i saw him but as you can tell by this era right here okay we got into the uh, end of the food sack a little bit. So, we'll see. That's why I'm bringing my bow with me. Trent, that's a weird looking white oak right there. Yeah. That's not a white oak. That's a sweet gum. No, I'm talking about this, where the acorns are coming out of. Oh, yeah. These are, these are actually yellow acorns. Is this acorns. native to Mississippi? These are. I these are native to these. Mississippi, Louisiana. Georgia. Uh, some places in Alabama and Georgia. Oh, yeah. We have a ton of those in mm -hmm. Georgia. Yeah. Bro, like, I yeah. plant those religiously in Georgia. I bet, like, I bet you couldn't <laughs> even climb that with yeah. a saddle. You know how... No, they're not for climbing there. It's strictly a feed tree. Oh, gosh. Gotcha. It's, it's, it's strictly a feed tree. Yeah. This one lost the branches and the leaves. Yeah, there. it's an it's early mm -hmm. fall for this one. Yep. No, that's an old guy. It's you know, like every, probably 150 years old tree right there. Every two or three months, you just change the batteries in it, and it'll keep spitting feed out so yeah. yeah look at these acorns Caden oh. acorn corn <laughs> what it tastes like like acorns nutty acorn, right? <laughs> there's that Mississippi coming out of ya bro right here are you sure this is it yeah oh. yeah cut that part out of yep <laughs> I don't want. I don't smell something. I don't want to walk. Just too doggone far in here. With no blood. I got blood. It's right here. Right there. Somebody mine. The cry. Oh, mother freaking. Here, buddy. Good job, buddy. I got more blood right here. Unless that's that looks like blood to me. Yeah. Yes, blood. Yep, that's blood. I'm telling you, he's, he's staying on this. John Hill. He is going to be leaving Starkville in about an hour, and um, that's a two-hour drive. He's a, he's maybe a little less than a two-hour drive from us, so expect him to be here in the next three to four, which is uh, going to give that deer, if he's not dead, going to give that deer another few hours to kind of you know lay. I don't think we bumped him. I mean, we, we didn't run up on any bed or anything like that. Uh, I think this deer just, he, he's, I think we're going to be in for a long track tonight. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to back out and wait on John to get here and come back in here then. All right, y'all. Well, we got the, we got the guys here. We got David Og and John Hill, and we're gonna let out two dogs. Um, it is, let me see, it is midnight, so it's been, what, 
16, 16 hours 16 since hours. I shot this deer. A lot of folks say, hey, between, you know, six and 24 hours and we're right there in the middle. So we're going to get out here and see if we can't, uh, well, track this deer and recover it. So I appreciate you boys coming out. Oh, yeah. Man, yeah, let's get on it. Come here. Sound like that dog was eating on something. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Son! That's what I'm talking about, baby! That's what I'm freaking talking about, son. Hey, hey. That's what I'm freaking talking about. Now you decide to do it, you little turd. Oh, look at that. Good boy. Oh, look at that. Oh, man, look at that. All right, is that dog going to bite me? Good job. Good job. Look at here. Look at here. That's a good boy. Yeah. Look at here. Yeah. Oh, man. Dad, go. I tell you what, these dad gum dogs, man. That is, uh, that's something. That's, yeah, eat up, son. Eat up. You deserve it. Dad, I knew when Cash bought it like that, I was like, sick in the box. I was like, golly, man, that's gotta be him. Dad gum, man. Oh. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Dude, thank you so much, bro. <laughs> golly. Good job, Charlie. Good job. Well, I'm, I'm yeah. going to give you a fist bump. I ain't touching that dog. I know what that dog does. Yeah. Oh. Come here, Leave it. Dude. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Oh, my Come goodness. On. You only get second box on that. Oh. Come on. Well. Good job, boy. All right, y'all grab a leg. I think I can get that hind quarter. <laughs> this is, this is just like, I'm, I'm speechless. I am freaking speechless golly i'll be honest with you like i was starting to lose hope all right i was starting to lose hope and then he just kept going and didn't come back and i'm like well hold up now and y'all started moving fast like i was sitting back there talking to todd and and then y'all stepped up and i'm like oh wait wait i don't even know what you said like i'd like cut you off i was gone like that coyote jumped that deer back there where he stopped at for a few minutes that's why he was having trouble figuring it out. And Cash lined up with him that time. Yeah. Yeah. Cash here. Good out. job. That's why I started moving. Cash out. <sighs> here. Good boy. Here. Freaking heck. Here. Yes, man. Look at that. Cash here. Look at the. Gosh, he stinks. Here. He stinks. Come but. On. And it sucks that I'm not going to get the meat. But golly. What a freaking time. Todd, thank you so much, dude. I'm glad to have you here. I, this was the easiest hunt of my life. I mean, you literally was like, hey, I got a feeder there, I got deer there, you know, and yeah, this was awesome. Thank you so much, man. Golly. Tethered, thank you too. Rob, thank you, brother. You're asleep right now and you're not out here, okay? <laughs> Greg, if you see this, annotate that, all right? No, no, Rob, he, uh, I told Rob, I was like, man, we got it. Y'all hunt, y'all, y'all, y'all stay hard at them. I have had a freaking 
blast. Oh my gosh. This is, mm, well, I guess there's only one thing left to do and unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to get any of the meat, but it will be a lot of drag. Just carrying by the head. <laughs> hey, I think you can get that by yourself. I think I can get this one by myself. That's right. <laughs> oh man. Well, I'm gonna cut this thing on his head off, and we uh we gonna. You wanna try and take a picture with him real quick? Yeah. Shoot, yeah. I would fist bump you, but I'll do it to you, Daddy. Thank you, brother. Yes, sir. Man. Are so y'all. Yeah. Pretty much wraps it up right there. Freaking John. John Hill, David Og, thank y'all so much for being here, man. I Look, ever since I saw the shot, like literally the air I leave my bow, hit the deer, and then watching it on film, I'm like, that is a dead deer. And uh, just the thought of, you know, anytime you don't hear one crash, you just immediately go to, I'm not going, I may not get this deer. Uh, but, uh, but thank y'all so much for coming out here and making it easy on us. And... Uh, but listen, y'all track in the state of Mississippi. So one, like, what's your area? I know you're based out of Amory. Yeah. And you're based Starful. out of Starkful. So what's y'all's like range? Uh, I cover pretty much the whole northeast portion of Mississippi. Okay. About two hours from Starkful. Okay. All right. So how's the best way to reach you? Uh, Cell phone, it's going to be 601-383-6098. Okay. And David, what about you? Cell phone, 662-790-3341. Awesome. Well, y'all heard it. Hey, if y'all shoot a deer like me and don't make the best shot and you need somebody to track it, give these two guys a holler. Okay? They can get it done. Well, look, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much, Todd. He's holding the light right now, but he's done a heck of a lot more this whole <laughs> trip than just that. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Thank you, Tethered. I've had a great time. Uh, I know Juan, he killed a doe, and uh, I don't know the rest of the week. We just want to thank Legacy Wildlife for keeping us, giving us an opportunity to be here to hunt. Y'all heard that, but Legacy Wildlife, thank y'all. Thank y'all for, because Legacy, this that's the ground that they own right here. That, that we manage, yeah. That y'all manage, okay. Yeah. All right. So thank y'all so much. Uh, like I said, I've had a freaking blast. And uh, look, y'all like, subscribe, give me a comment. Tell me, tell me how bad of a shot I am and how much better you are. Okay, but look, <laughs> we'll see you real soon. See you on the next one.